everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The two amigos are back in this motherfucker. That's why we're back with this uh, video right here. This is a tag challenge from Awesome 4K. Uh, he tagged anybody in the wrestling YouTube community, the YWC. Anybody that wants to make this video, you guys can. Uh, he made it a day or two ago. Uh, you know, we just haven't had time to film it till now. But uh, right here, guys, uh, he tagged us at a video I did challenge that he had of women wrestlers who need a documentary. Um, now, uh, as you guys know, Trish had a documentary on her, and Lita had a documentary on her. Yeah. Now. They were, like, pretty short documentaries, and they were only one-disc sets. I would like to see some three-disc sets yeah. of those. Because, uh, uh, you know, you can make three-disc sets out of them, or at least yeah. a two-disc set out of them. But, um, you know, uh, some these these uh, women wrestlers who need a doc, you know, uh, I know WWE just released a... Um, well, not just released. It's been out for a while. But the, uh, the women's uh, evolution... Um, DVD that they brought out uh, that had shitty Ronda Rousey on the cover like she did yeah. anything for wrestling. Yeah, like she did a goddamn. <sighs> yeah. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, like, even if you have to make mini docs on some of these, I, I would suggest they do them. Yeah. Uh, but also, uh, a big shout out to Awesome 4K as well, not only for the tag challenge, but... For uh, The Best of Tommy. Yes. Volume 3. Really appreciate it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, go check out it on his channel, uh, The Best of Tommy, Volume 3. And don't forget that December 22nd is the release date for The Best of Pops, Volume 1. So go check that out. Uh, it's going to be coming out very, very soon. So, Tommy, with that being said, you want to go ahead and get started with this? Yeah, uh, let's get started. Uh, we listed 10 women that we think deserve a documentary. Or something to where they can tell their 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 stories. Yeah. Uh, coming in at number ten, Alexa Bliss. Yes, I would love to see a uh, Alexa Bliss uh, documentary. Uh, the first ever uh, woman to win the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championship. Yes. Uh, initially, pretty much started off as a as a uh, a manager for Blake and Murphy. Yes. Uh, I mean, she had a few job matches on uh, on NXT. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think she could she could have a, a, a mini doc. As yeah, well. I think Alexa Bliss deserves a documentary. Uh, I'd like to know how, how, how her uh, how her career was uh, before getting in the WWE. Now, I know, I know WWE released some stuff about, like, them talking about their past and stuff, but, uh, you know, I'd like to see, you know, a, a, a real documentary yeah. on stuff. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into number nine, Ivory. Oh, yes, Ivory deserves her own documentary. No doubt. Uh, WWE Hall of Famer. Yes, WWE Hall of Famer. That Come some on, people wrestled, hackled. Yes. Yeah, people people fucking, some bullshit. Yeah, you know, people fucking got pissed off and... Oh, what is what has Ivory done for the business? Well, you know what, you goddamn smarks. Ivory's done a lot for the fucking business. She was in that shitty glow, mm -hmm. and was only the good fucking worker in that whole goddamn fucking shitty clusterfuck glow that don't deserve a fucking Netflix show. Yeah, well, I haven't watched it. I neither, because I, I think Netflix sucks. What do you think of that? <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I think Netflix sucks. Uh, Ivory. Uh... A pioneer uh, for yeah. women, uh, you know. Yeah, she, did she have a short WWE career? Kinda, yeah. Uh, but she became a, what a three-time women's champion, yeah. uh, you know, and uh, trying to get fucking China's moose ass over mm -hmm. as well uh, as trying to be a, a a real women's competitor. Yeah, uh, you know, it's like pulling fucking teeth right there. Um, and, uh, you know, to, to, to be in the Hall of Fame is a, a great honor. Yeah. Uh, and, and she deserves it because, you know, she's she's been wrestling since the, you know, mid-80s. Yes. <laughs> well, she was in that in that fucking glow -ish. She was in that fucking boring AWA. Oh. <laughs> the paint pillin' AWA. Yeah. The dying days AWA. Let's go get number eight. 
uh, Natalia. Oh yeah, Natalia deserves her own doc app all the way. Uh, very underrated. A, a very underrated talent, uh, a woman that... And why the fuck should she be friends with Ronda Rousey? Who wants to be friends with that fucking coonskin bitch? <laughs> I guess some people do. Now, I wouldn't want to be friends with her. I slap that bitch right in the fucking face. Spit right at her. And, and by the way, her boyfriend sucks. <laughs> bushy beard. Yeah, that fuck that bushy beard motherfucker. He's pussy. Just like Rhonda. Uh, Natalia deserves a uh, documentary yeah. uh, coming up from Calgary. Yeah, come on, she there. came from Calgary. Come on, and she could tell her her uh, story about how how it was with the Hart found Hart family, and tell how, how how it was, and even say how she met fucking Tyson Kidd. And, uh, not, and fucking not only that, but she's actually the first female third generation superstar. Yeah. Um, that 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 I that I could think of. That, that there there might have been another one, but uh, she's the only third female generation superstar I could think of. Yes. And uh, she's she's been in WWE for over what twelve years now. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. And she's a veteran. Uh, well, I, you know, we actually seen Natalia when she was in OVW, and we were very impressed. We knew she was going to go big places. Yeah, uh, uh, she was there with uh, David Hart Smith and, and uh, Teddy Hart and Teddy Hart. Uh, you know, that was before they 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 replaced Teddy Hart with Tyson Kidd. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, uh, I, I I I knew she had a, a yeah. bright future. Uh, number seven, a very underrated uh, woman wrestler as well as a manager, Luna Vachon. Oh yeah, Luna Vachon definitely deserves her own uh, documentary. Uh, you know, but sadly enough, she's passed away. Well, well, they they done people that passed away. Come on, the Randy Savage doc, Brian Pillman. Brian Pillman. So. Uh, no doubt that they can do one on on her. Uh, yes, coming from the the Sean family. <laughs> uh, yeah, a, a very brutal family. Yeah, in come wrestling. on, she she's part of the Mad Dog Vashon and the Butcher Vashon and. No, so you already fucking knew that that that, that you had to be a badass to you yeah. know to be to be in that family. Yeah, she's out loud. she's and she was one tough one tough wrestler. Uh, you know, uh, now once her, you know, her WWE career, you know, being with Bam Come on. Bam and oh, oh, the oh, doinks. Oh, oh, well, that wasn't her fault. <laughs> she did the dink. best she could exactly. with what she had. And by the way, her and Bam Bam, to me, were, were great, great together. <laughs> His main screen. I did. I thought that was a great pairing. Bam Bam, Bigelow, and Luna Vachon. Mm -hmm. And then, and come on, she helped Gold Dust's his career. Mm -hmm. You know, when, uh, when fucking Marlena got kicked to the wayside. And fucking then Luna's the uh, manager, which I thought that was good. I didn't like the uh, way Goldust looks sometimes, but uh, I thought Luna and Goldust pretty had good chemistry. And come on, if it weren't for her, fucking Sable wouldn't be what she was. Sable uh, with that fucking fucking blonde hair, fucking fake tit moose. Uh, being with the oddities. Yeah, well, fuck. She was the only good worker out of the fucking oddities. <laughs> besides earthquake. Well, 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 besides fucking earthquake, damn do it. Would Giant Silva give me a break? Fucking Kirk can give me a break. I saw Giant Silver working that fucking dingy Power Pro, and Lawler had to carry his ass. <laughs> Lawler had to carry his big fucking moose. And even Lawler couldn't do it. Uh, so uh, uh, Luna deserves one, no doubt. Oh yes. Uh, next one, a WWE Hall of Famer, and rightfully so. Yes. Sherry Martell. Oh yes, yeah. sensational Sherry. Come on. Now, now, now I, I want to say on the list that uh, also 4K kind of had the same list that we had. Yeah. Uh, a little bit different. Though. A little bit different. Uh, we had a couple that he had on the list, which Sherry Martell is one of. Yes. Them. Oh, Sherry Martell definitely deserves her own documentary. No doubt. Cause, come on, she wrestled the men. You know, she would go after the men too. Yeah. Well, a woman manager never did that. Probably besides Luna. Luna and, and Sherry and Martell, Sherry. the only two women I've seen, besides fucking China, the fucking moose. I know you're probably going to say, well, China did. I don't give a fuck about China. Hey, by the way, China's not on the list. Oh, yeah, China <laughs> like, don't deserve to die. <laughs> what, what are you going to talk about? Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm just stating the facts here. A lot of people can fucking hit the dislike button. Oh, he buried China. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, go ahead on, and hit the pa dislike button. Pause it right here. Hit that dislike button. Fuck you. Yeah, uh, you <laughs> want an opinion. I'm sorry. Ch China, to me, wasn't that fucking good. Mm -hmm. And that's my opinion. And I don't give. And, and, uh, see, that's the thing. People like want to immortalize people that are dead. But well, uh, Sherry Martell's dead. Luna Vachon's dead. Yeah, people, they don't and, get no fucking respect. No. 
Oh, but if it's fucking China, though, let's give her some respect. Oh, because she's from the Attitude Era. The fucking Attitude Era that people think so fucking great. Some of the Attitude Era sucks. Yeah, you think I gave a fuck about Beaver Cleavage? <laughs> but it's like you, you think I gave a fuck of the blue meanie dressed in blue? <laughs> but anyway, Sherry Martell. Oh, yeah. Well, Sherry Martell, you know, she deserves her own fucking documentary. Of course, she was in the AWA. She managed Doug Summers and Playboy Buddy Rose, which was a great team, underrated team. By Not the way. only that, but she also wrestled in the AWA. Yeah, and Russell, well. she was the AWA yeah. Women's Champion. And come on, she came to the WWE. Look at all the people she managed: Ted DiBiase, Randy Savage, Shawn Michaels. You know all those great fucking wrestlers that fucking Luna, the fucking uh, Sherry has managed. Mm -hmm. Going to WCW Harlem Heat. Yeah, managing Harlem Heat. Come on. Which uh, which really manager Ric Flair in the WCW. Uh, and, you know, not only that, but, uh, you know, before, uh, like, when she kind of, like, did semi-retirement, she was also still managing some yeah. people on indies as well. Yes. And, uh, doing a lot of stuff, and, uh, sadly enough, she passed away as well. Yes. Uh, which some people want to say that it was involved with the Crispin Wall tragedy. I was like, no, it's not. No. <laughs> Way different. <laughs> Way different. But, uh, Sherry Martell... Not only a manager, but also a great, fantastic women's wrestler. Yes. Held the uh, WWF Women's Championship as well. Yes. Has some, uh, had a feud with Rock and Robin. Yep. Uh, in the, uh, in the WWF 80s. in the 80s. Uh, so, no doubt. Number five, Molly Holly. Oh, yeah. Molly Holly definitely deserves her uh, doc. Uh, you know, trained by Dean Malenko. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, right then and there, you already know that she's Yeah, you already know she's going to be good if you're trained by Dean. <laughs> you're trained by the Iceman. So. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the Iceman with no charisma. Yeah, but, but he can train people. <laughs> but, 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 hey, hey. Dean hey. Malenko was a great talent. He was. Um, Molly Holly uh, also had the job as well as uh, Medusa to try to get Gorgeous George over in the fucking and WCW. train her. And train her. Uh, so, you know, that, that. <laughs> that's why Randy wanted Medusa and fucking, fucking Molly Holly on her, on the goddamn crew. Yeah, uh, with the, uh, uh, Team Madness. Yeah. Uh, and, and Molly becomes, uh, you know, she, she's been a multiple time WWE Women's mm -hmm. Champion. And she paid uh, her dues. Come on, she was wrestling in Indies, wrestling in front of no people. Yeah. Uh, getting, Starla Saxton. <laughs> getting get dressed behind car yeah, doors. Get, yep. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, you, you know. You know that you love wrestling, or if, you want to try to succeed. Come on, she was that. working at Subway. Yeah, make a sandwich. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do to pay your dues, and no doubt Molly Holly paid her. Yeah, dues. she paid her dues, especially uh, if she wanted on the card at WrestleMania twenty to get her hair shaved. Okay. Yes. Um, number four, Mickey James. Oh yeah, Mickey James, hardcore country. Yeah, she did. Or, or can or, we get rid of her TNA run? Now? <laughs> Uh, or or as like or, or as I like to call her, Milfie James. Oh yes, Mickey James, a veteran. She deserves her own documentary as well. Come on, she was from OVW. Yeah, uh, uh, she she wrestled in independent. She got signed as OVW. Lexus Lurie. Uh, she got signed by OVW. We actually got to see her quite a few times yes. wrestle. And was great uh, talent. Great wrestler. Um, and, uh, and no, still is a great talent. Still a great talent, but I just don't like the way WWE. Yeah, uses I don't her like now. the way WWE uses her either as a uh, fucking jobber. Yeah, she she ain't no Alicia Fox. She ain't no Dana Brooke. <laughs> yes, agreed. Uh, you know, this is this is a multiple time WWE Women's Champion uh, who took on the likes of of Lita Trish Stratus, and Trish, Victoria. Uh, you know, all all the fucking uh, great women from that era. Yeah. Um, but uh, definitely, uh, and you know, I, I I guess if people want to throw her knockouts uh, championship well, reigns in yeah. there too, I guess yeah. you, I guess they could do that as well. Well, she had a pretty good career in TNA. Uh, I liked her WWE career better, yeah. but uh, you know, it is what it is. Number three, Victoria. Oh yeah, Victoria definitely deserves her own doc. Uh, you know, Victoria was uh, one of the Godfather's hoes. Yeah, come on, she paid her dues. Uh, she wanted to be in wrestling. Uh, I, I think it was Rikishi was talking about it. She said, uh, uh, Rikishi said that Victoria asked her, you know, uh, that, that she would like to actually wrestle. And uh, uh, Rikishi says, well, you need to talk to Jim Ross. Yeah, you and, need to talk to Jim Ross if you want to learn how, if you want to be a wrestler. So, and Jim Ross got her on the fast track. Uh, to uh, wanting to uh, get into wrestling. Yeah, she came to OVW and worked really hard. Worked. She paid her dues. She paid her dues. 
Uh, and not only that, but... She uh, was with the fucking Revolution, which was with Danny Basham and, and Doug Basham. Yes, uh, which uh, they don't get no praise for, no, for, for, be, because of their WWE yeah, careers. Yeah, which is highly... Mm, they were highly great talent. Highly great talent. If you guys ever check that out, check out OVW back in 2002 during that time. Yeah. Uh, you know, don't think about the Basham brothers, you know, uh, fucking the... the Fucking masks and choking on the balls. Yeah, don't else. and fucking don't think about that shit. Uh, when I think about the Basher Brothers, I think about their 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 OVW run and how great they were, and they fucking got underutilized in WWE. We're glad they were tag team champions. Absolutely. Yeah, I uh, was happy they were tag team champions. Uh, I know, I know, and uh, and Victoria was part of that group as well. Yeah, uh, and just to see her. Do that come yes. into WWE? And she was a, and she's been a women's champion. Uh, taking on you know Trish, Trish Stratus, Lita, Lita, you uh, know all, Jazz, all these great talents, and putting on great matches. Not only that, but you know having some really great matches. Uh, you know, e even in TNA, she had great matches. Even in TNA as Tara, she had some great matches. Um, you know, I didn't watch too much of her run in TNA, just because uh, you know I wasn't watching TNA much at that time. But, uh, and not only that, but she's still making, yeah, she's uh, still making, appearances, yeah, uh, and wrestling. So, Victoria, no doubt. Number two, Charlotte Flair. Oh, you know, Vince Russo made her, <laughs> yeah, of course, Vince Russo. Uh, Vince Russo made Charlotte Flair, yeah. Vince Russo claims that, uh, when he, when he, uh, when he let the Flair family come on to, uh, whatever fucking show that was or whatever and Charlotte was there and and she knocked out Vince Russo or whatever she uh he, he thinks that he made sure Charlotte. yeah he thinks he <laughs> made fucking Charlotte Flair give me a break with your gray fucking hair you didn't make shit all you make is shit that's all you make you make shitty goddamn storylines you don't, I think the only reason you want you're a fucking attention whore just yeah. like someone else yeah that's <laughs> yeah. what you are uh Charlotte uh Second generation wrestler. Uh huh. Paid her dues. Uh, no, paid her dues. Uh, you know. You know. She, come, uh, she didn't help. want no special treatment. Uh, no special treatment. Uh, you know. Well, will I be honest? Did she get signed because she is Ric Flair's daughter? No doubt. But she actually proved herself as well. Yeah, she proved herself. Come on. She 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 was the longest reigning Raw Women's Champion, mm -hmm. and, and, and she had a fifty million a big record on pay per view appearance no wins, doubt. And, and she and look at that great match that. Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks had mm -hmm. that big feud. You know, sh some of the stuff, best stuff from NXT. Yeah, for some of the best stuff in NXT. Yes. So, uh, you know, just to hear about her growing up being Ric Flair's daughter. Yeah, I would love to hear about the that. Struggles. How, how, yeah, how did it, how was it like being Ric Flair's daughter? Now, not, not, at that time. Not not only, not only that, but uh, I mean, if you guys ever watch a ride along or something like that or whatever. Apparently, she does have a little strained relationship with her father. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, you know, the past is the past. Yes. But, number one, Becky Lynch. Yeah, the man. The man. <laughs> Becky Lynch deserves her own DVD. And I know people say, well, they did that Chronicle. I don't give a fuck. I'll be gone probably a year or so. <laughs> yeah. I want the DVD. I want a DVD. Not no goddamn fucking thing I can watch on the fucking network. <laughs> well, that's what they always show. So I know. Goddamn. Make a DVD, goddamn. It's not that fucking hard. Well, DVDs are obsolete. Uh, I don't give a fuck what's obsolete. That never be obsolete here, saying if they don't, if, if they don't fucking. <laughs> but uh, but Becky Lynch, uh, I heard she started around fifteen years old. Yeah, and uh, she was trained by Finn Balor. Trained by Finn Balor, starting at fifteen, over in Ireland. Uh, I would love to hear her story. I'd love to hear her story on that. Uh, you know, and, and not, not only that, but her coming to NXT. Yes. Um, and making her way to the WWE. Making her way in WWE. Like, when she was first in WWE, I think she lost her footing. Yes. Big time. Uh, well, a lot of people actually lost her footing yeah. right when they come to WWE. Yeah. But uh, I think she regained it. And, uh, you know, like, she regained it when she won the SmackDown Women's Championship the first. Yes. And she was the first diva, the first woman chosen by uh, SmackDown. No doubt. And it's just... Uh, I thought she lost her footing after that, and I think she's just now regaining and actually starting to get real. Yeah. Uh, now she's on a roll. She is on a roll. And, and you uh, need to capitalize on it. Uh, and, and, of course, they don't. They'd rather capitalize on Ronda Rousey. Uh -huh. She's not on the fucking list, and she won't be on the yeah, list. Yeah, she'll never... If she makes a DVD, I'll make sure to buy it and rip it up. <laughs> don't make a fucking Ronda Rousey DVD. 
I'll yeah. buy that motherfucker and I'll do it right here on video and fuck it. I'll waste twenty bucks <laughs> just to fucking destroy that fucking DVD. <laughs> you waste money on that. Yeah. Uh, I've awesome. got one thing to say. You know, I like your guys' list. It's a good list. But the thing of it is, you know, uh, by WWE standards, I w I'm going to say this blunt, that none of them women right there can hold a candle to Ronda Rousey right now. That right there is what WWE Universe is saying right now. No doubt. But there you guys go. There's uh, the women wrestlers that we think deserve some documentaries. Um... You know, I want to thank Awesome 4K for tagging us in it, uh, letting us uh, be able to uh, share yeah. what we thought. If you guys like this video and you guys want to do it as well, feel free to uh, make your own video as well. We'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on who you think deserves a documentary because, uh, you know, the women's revolution is very high right now. Yeah. Women's wrestling yeah, is and the it, hottest And, it, and it's not because fucking Ronda Crouch Rot Rousey. No. It's because of the hard-working ones. It's because of the ones that don't get no fucking respect or don't get fucking fucking praise. Uh, the ones right here in yeah, this list. Yeah, the, the, fucking, the fucking, you know, the Mickey James, the fucking Charlotte Flair. You know, the ones that actually work hard and not get handed anything. Mm -hmm. And fucking, unlike fucking Ronda Rousey, who gets handled everything. And by the way, you're the worst women's champion I've ever seen in my life. I thought China was bad. You topped the cake, bitch. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestlingRampage2. Follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you each and every week right here for one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today, Wrestling Rampage. Tommy, take it away. If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess your punk ass don't know wrestling.